This is Godwin Kelly at the Daytona Beach News Journal, and the Walter Brothers just took a big chunk out of Turn One at Daytona, and we're going to show you how it happened. I'm here and uh, and not stir up a lot of emotion. Uh, good emotions uh, most of the time, but then of course there's always those uh, tragedies that you can't help but remember when you come here. I, as I stand here in this first turn. I think I broke four ribs here uh, in 89 or 92 or somewhere along in there. And then I, we rode down the back, and oh, yeah, I flipped down this back straightaway through the grass and I ended up with a concussion. And yeah, oh, yeah, turn four. Yeah, don't want to forget that. That's where I had a really bad practice accident, and broke my leg, broke my arm, broke a bunch of ribs. So you, you come here uh, always remembering um, the good times, but in the back of your mind, you're also knowing that this place. What, what makes it so special is, is, is the good and the bad, and, and sometimes even the ugly. Uh, that's, what, that's what stirs up so much uh, emotion inside of you. When you look at this racetrack, you come through that tunnel over there in the fourth turn, and you look down, and as far as you can see, and there's the first and second turn banking, it, it always, your heart, you, you, your heart rate picks up, and, and you get butterflies in your stomach. And I haven't driven in 10 years. And I still come through that tunnel, and I feel the same way. I come through there, and, and I, I have I have a hundred flashbacks. I'm going to get me a chunk of that and take it back to North Carolina, and I can't wait. This, is, um, this place, like Daryl said, is, is special to our family. It's part of who we are. I don't come through that tunnel and, and not think about what this place means to me. And um, I'm a traditionalist. I love Daytona. I love this being the mecca of NASCAR racing. Um, but I know... This pavement was put down in the 50s, and it had a coat of, of uh, asphalt put over it in 78. So emotionally, when all that's gone, I don't lose anything because I'm going to just go one more step lower, and the, and the dirt that's under the pavement was the same stuff that Bill France Sr. stood and directed as they built this amazing facility back in the 50s. So um, I love what we're doing. All right, I, I, I could not do this. There would be no way I could do this without saying... Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's scare the hell out of this place! Here we go! That's great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're headed into the first turn here with the Duke Scooper, the giant Duke Scooper. We're rotating the uh, bucket around, and as we come around, we're going to stop the bucket. We're going to drop the bucket. Whoops! We're going to raise the bucket up a little, get a little angle, get a little more angle here. Now we're going to insert the bucket into the asphalt. Slowly, slowly we drop into the asphalt. As Michael Waltrip, two-time Daytona 500 champion, puts his blade deep into the turn, deep into the first turn, picks up chunks of asphalt. Asphalt going everywhere. <laughs> What an, what an effort here, folks. What an effort. Nicely done. Maybe we can get a few words from a driver. Huh? How did it go out there today, Mikey? Well, you know, old boys in pit crew did a good job out there. And I uh, was real happy with the way the digger dug and really inspired by your boogity, boogity, boogity. And uh, I don't know what else to say. Thank good year and God. Position the bucket. The bucket opens. And out of the bucket comes a large chunk of history, <laughs> Daytona history, 1978 history, almost as old as I am, but not quite. We'll be ready. Thank you all. Have a good day. We did it. Did something no other the driver's ever been able to do. Pull the track. Hey, this is Godwin Kelly again. Thanks for joining us as we tear up the track. More every week we'll have a a update from Daytona. Thank you.